Hey guys, what's up? This is Spathboy and welcome to another episode of Mod Madness here with Farming Simulator 15. So the last episode was actually a massive mods one, so slightly different. This one's not so massive. Um, but we dropped off this ridiculous stack of bales. So now we need something to deal with it, which I'm hoping is where this new New Holland DLC pack will come in handy. Um, so this is an official um, official DLC from Giant Software and Farming Simulator 15 website. Um, this is the free one. There's another one that isn't free, which I'll probably come to at some other point. But uh, for now, so this was free, and it includes one telehandler and one wheel loader. So, here it is. It's the LM7.42 New Holland in its stereotypical blue colors 100 pounds a day maintenance 143 horsepower so we're going to see if this can get close to the top of that stupid bale stack <laughs> uh so we need to get up fork for it so i'd like to point out at this point that um i've installed version 1.3 so reasonably recently this came out um and uh, it did, you know, a lot of bug fixes, better handling vehicles, th things aren't going to jump around as much, and various different things. Uh, I might put a link to the description of that in the um, in the description as well if you're interested. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can feel any difference using it. Um, so we got that bale spike. I'm not going to look at the other one until we get to it. So that was the cool one from last time. I still think that is mega. The ridiculous crone with forage wagon on back oh just get him out of the way and here we are with the new holland oh cool it sounds different one thing that annoys me about this title is that it had that all the vehicles seem to sound the same so it's good that this one doesn't seem to but it, it looks cool as you'd expect massive amount of detail so it is an official one Let's jump in. Awesome interior. Again, as you'd expect, all of the details with the stickers, instructions. Turn that around. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So let's see if this does actually attach onto that. It might not, because it does say that it's a lizard one. But you'd hope so. Yes, it does. Awesome. Let's make that a bit safer. And off we go. Let's head off to the huge stack in the farm. Wow, it's got a good turning circle. Four wheel steer, as you'd hope. Beacon on. I really like it. That looks really, really cool. I'm hoping it's got a massive reach. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to make a mess. We're only on this view so you can see it. As you hopefully have seen, I now usually adopt the, um, the uh, in-cockpit view. Let's hop out, get this massive berth out of the way okay that'll be jump out again oh whoa that <laughs> there's no way this is going to reach to the top no way is there really so that'll be, have to be the test then how high can it go That's pretty high, but it's still <laughs> nowhere near. Oh dear. Wow. Look at the bloody hell. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh wow. If I do that, maybe we can get that one. <gasps> oh 
Okay. There we go. There's the mess. They're on the roof. Here we go. I got one. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, shiza. Not quite sure what's going on with the one that I've picked up either. There we go. But hey, it works in terms of it can pick up a bale. So, but it's really, really cool. And um, I think it's a great addition. It looks mega. It looks a lot more pro than the lizard one, I would say. So look out for it in one of my other videos, uh, maybe in my Cobra Part Farm. This might become my tally handler. You never know. So onwards to the wheel loader. And this one, the W170C. So we want the... Oh, it's not going to be a Volvo shovel, is it? So let's buy that. Uh, back it up. Go to... Where is it? Wheel loaders. Bucket. Universal bucket. And here it is. Wow. Looks cool. The detail is pretty incredible. And inside I imagine will be the same. Yep. Cool, man. Whoa, articulation. Doesn't work well with um, keyboard steering, I have to say. Is it on here? Yes, it does. So, that's right mouse button, which is interesting. Up and down. Ah. Okay, so you've got... I think this is pretty standard, though. For, so, that's left mouse button. Ah. Clever, eh? Hey. Let's head over to where I'm starting off the silage pile. In the bunker. So again, as always, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys are going to use this, I would definitely recommend them both. Anything that's made by uh, Giant Software, the official, any official DLC is going to be pretty cool, I would say. But if there's anything else that you've seen around and would like me to have a look at, then please 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 let me know and I will uh, do my very best to showcase it for you big old brute isn't it flat out yo mm -mm -mm. oh yeah there's a forage wagon over here <laughs> about that. Oops, don't hate me. Articulated steering with a keyboard is pretty annoying. But I have seen that there is a farming simulator wheel coming out later this year, specifically, which I'm very interested in. Oh, you can't pick up cut grass, it would seem. It has to be silage. Oh dear. Well, I can't try it, I'm afraid, but I'm sure you can see from this that it is a top quality item. Rawr. So yeah, really, really cool. Another great addition from Giant Software. And they just keep on coming, and also the mods made by the community are just, some of them are unbelievable how good they are. Um... But that's going to be it. It's going to be a short and sweet one. Um, just because there's, you know, this is it. This is the pack. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like it. Subscribe for more Farming Simulator 15 videos. But until next time, goodbye.